It's a vehicle built to withstand the harshest conditions imaginable. You're driving the real deal. A machine that owes its existence to an army. It comes from military roots, so there's a level of authenticity that they're built to withstand a war zone. An SUV that epitomizes high-end elegance. And then 1979, the first cheek gas was assembled here. And since then, every cheek gas you find around the world has been assembled this facility. Some call it the ultimate in off-road luxury. They made it into a luxury truck, and there really weren't luxury SUVs. Mercedes G-Class, the forerunner of the luxury sport utility movement and a one-of-a-kind super-built SUV. It's a rugged off-roader that's equally comfortable crossing a continent as it is pulling up at the opera. The G-Wagon is completely different and bears almost no relation to anything else in the Mercedes-Benz lineup and really anything else you can buy. It's one of the longest continuously produced passenger vehicles ever built by the oldest car company in the world. The G-Class is a landmark Mercedes vehicle. It's been around for 38 years, and I am proud to work here. The G-Class, an automotive outlier that's withstood the test of time, and perhaps even found a way to defeat it. This is a really hardcore vehicle that has huge capability, and it's built in a way that SUVs aren't built anymore. It's just this weird, out-of-time vehicle. You might call it an anachronism, but it's a timeless vehicle. A timeless machine that's built in a very old-school way. The Mercedes G-Wagon is the last of the old-school German vehicles. It's like German cars used to be, you know, 30, 40, even 50 years ago. They're built in small numbers, and they're just beautifully crafted, perfectly made things. While the machine echoes the past, amazingly, it continues to defy the odds and flourish. It's definitely not mass production. So looking at the complexity, this is really low volume, high craftsmanship, handmade production, handmade product. A lot of people work here and produce a G-Class by hand. It's about 150 hours that go into each G-Class as uh, manual labor, compared to a regular car where you would probably put in like 20 to 25 hours. So it's more than seven times as much, and that makes it special. Welcome to Graz, the second largest city in Austria and the home of the G-Class. That it's from Austria, yes. That's the best feeling there could ever be. This is very, very unique. You can probably find one or two other places like this, but we will keep it that way because we're very proud of it that we built that special vehicle day by day with our own hands. The G in G-Class stands for Galanderwagen, which is German for cross-country vehicle. Yet it could easily stand for the city itself. Well, the G is closely tied to Graz. You can't separate the two. Because if the car was built in Hungary or somewhere else, all the emotions would be missing. We all live for this car. It's a factory that revels in staying true to the past while servicing the old world ways to build perfection. We build a lot by hand, that's true. And I believe that fact distinguishes this product. 
that so much handcraft goes into this car that every worker builds that much love into the product. That's also how we achieve this level of quality, you know? With each turn of a bolt, they not only assemble vehicles, but also a very specific type of pride. It's awesome. H how to describe it? It's exciting to see a G on the street and know that it comes from this factory. It's simply a great feeling. There are a lot of soul here because we act like a family. I'm so proud every day to come to work at this company and I'm able to help build the G-Class. The passion for the machine manifests itself into three simple words. Wir sind G-Klasse. We are G-Class. What might be a marketing motto elsewhere is actually a way of life inside these walls. That means we're a unit, yes. A camaraderie, solidarity, and that we're there for the G-Class with blood, sweat and tears. Wherever I see a G-Class, I can't resist going over to it, taking a look at which model it is, and whether it's a G-Class that I maybe helped build a couple of years ago. The fellowship on the line is often rooted in family. There are many families where the father was here and later the son or daughter follow. It does, however, go down through the generations. That's really true. It's also the same with married couples and friends. Once an employee decides to be part of the Chica's family, he wants to stay forever. I've always been a Mercedes fan since I was little. My father always had one, a Mercedes. It's sort of been passed down by blood over the generations. And as it was for my father, it is for me with the G-Class. The generational connections underscore the importance of the facility. Most car factories are built in automotive epicenters, where multiple brands manufacture vehicles within a 50 to 100 kilometer radius. But the Graz facility is different. It's one of the few automotive plants in all of Austria. Excellent jobs are created here for Austria and also for Slovenia. So this is a very important employer. Many folks work here. Without the G, a lot of people would lose their jobs. The facility means everything to Graz. We currently have 10,000 employees working here, and you have to consider the partner companies as well. That's at least double as many jobs. While the machine is Mercedes-Benz to its core, it's actually built by Magna Stryer, an automotive sub-supplier. Back in the 1970s, when Mercedes-Benz was considering how to best develop this vehicle. And at the time, the organization here in Graz had a lot of competency in off-road vehicles. And they're a small little Austrian company that used to build its own vehicles. So they're a company that has a ton of off-road expertise. Sort of why the G-Wagon feels like an old school German car. It was a new idea to be able to assemble a vehicle here. And we are all very proud to be able to produce a finished car. And they still have it built by Magnus Steyr and that's sort of what makes it special and makes it unique and makes it authentic. It takes an effort of both sides, but with this tradition or heritage of 38 years, everybody is very conscious and makes sure that it stays a success. Success developed over nearly 40 years of continual refinement by a uniquely skilled workforce. The workers here, however, have learned the function of the part they're installing on the vehicle and can tell whether it's been installed correctly. It's interesting to work on the G because it has such history. It's been in production as many years as I am old, and it's an interesting vehicle. It's a lengthy history and of course one that fills me and my co-workers with pride that we're able to work on this vehicle and I hope we'll continue to for a long, long time. 
It's a distinctive form of automotive manufacturing that's more akin to a bespoke build rather than mass production. Something that is readily apparent when the sparks start flying in one of the last hand-welded body shops in the world.